Okay, so check it out. You want to get your cable installed. You know you got to go upstairs and find the uh, entertainment center for the cable. It's upstairs, usually in the uh, bedroom. It's a bedroom because it looks like a bedroom, and a lot of clothes in here. Somewhere in the closet, there might be a hatch like this, so you open the door. The next problem you're going to have is, which cable comes from the street? Out of all these cables, how are you ever going to figure out which of these cables actually is the one from Comcast that has live cable in it? Good luck figuring that out. Well, you have good luck because I'll show you how to do it. Here is a cable modem. You'll get this from Comcast or Charter, Time Warner, whoever you're using. What we're going to do is just plug this cable modem in and see what the lights look like, okay? So right now, there's no cable on it. I'm going to plug this thing into the wall socket. Let's check out what happens on the front, okay? Power light comes on. Let's see if anything else comes on. Probably not. Okay, because this, okay, we got a little light down there flashing up. This cable modem is not going to do anything because, haha, -ha, there's no cable in it, right? So if you put one of these cables in here, okay, which is dead, it's going to look just like that. It's not going to really do anything. Um, you should get all four or five lights in this thing. So figure out what your cable modem looks like when it's totally disconnected, okay? And then when you connect the live cable to it, these lights will change over. So for example, if I connect, say, this cable here and try it out, let's see what happens. I'm not good with one hand here, but let's see if I can do this. Connecting up this cable here. There it goes. Okay, so I just connected up a random cable. Hopefully the camera caught that, probably not. I just hooked up a random cable from wherever. And you can see, it doesn't change. So that cable is not the cable from Comcast or Charter or Time Warner. That cable is probably one from inside your house. And sure enough, it says right there, family room. So yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew it wasn't a live cable, but I'm showing you how to do this, okay? So there's the cable. We're going to take that one out now. Take it out. And that cable's out. What about this cable? Well, it's not marked anything. It doesn't say family room, doesn't say bedroom, doesn't say anything. Okay, but I know this cable's live. This is the one they used last time, so check it out. We're going to put that cable into this box right here. Just screw it in there. And see what happens. Just check if it's live or not. Okay, to show you how to check for a live cable. So, let's screw this cable in to the back of this thing. See how it goes. Okay, the cable that I know is live. Whoa, is in the back of this thing. And check it out. So, when the live cable goes in, you can see this thing lights up. So that's how to figure out if your cable is live or not. Just get your cable modem, bring it up, plug it in, see if the lights change. And if they do change, that's your live cable. That's the one you want to use. So I'm going to disconnect this cable now. Disconnected it. And what happens? The lights kind of stay on, but if you reboot the modem, powered off, powered on, there. I just powered the modem off and on. Lights will kind of go back to, uh, to no cable. So that's how to figure out how to get your cable. And next video, I'll show you how to connect it up quickly.